Hello all. All right, so our storm didn't uh, pan out. We're still in a drought. We're going to go on a ride and a little bit of news and a little quick update on the uh, eraser fun drive. There has been some improvement. Absolutely beautiful today. It's supposed to be in the 70s. It's probably 65 right now. Another miserable winter's day here in California during its severe drought. We did get some rain yesterday. No, it wasn't really rain. It was just a little bit of mist and drizzle. But it got enough water on the ground where you can actually see the dirt is slightly wet. All right, so a waveform looks like this. All right, you've probably seen it uh, used in frequency like radio waves, uh, water. When you throw a pebble into a pond, it does the, uh, you know, the little thing and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. But the waves look like this. And that does seem to be the way nature works. And there's another way to look at it. You could say a waveform is like a circle. Uh, let's say this is uh, summer, fall, winter, and spring. And that's, we just keep going over and over and over again. There's another way of looking at it, is something like this. And this, this is time. So this could be an hour, a, a day, a year, whatever it is. But it's a circle that keeps going on time. And so if humanity wanted to change, all they'd have to do is change the circle. But let's say they change it here. They change this section, right? But then this section has to be changed. And so does this section. So for humans to change, it really means you have to change everything around the entire circle or you have to change everything within the waveform. So you'd have to make it more something like this maybe. And that way you could actually do some real change. But it seems like everything on planet Earth goes on a continuous waveform that doesn't really seem to change that much. And to, to make change means a lot of work. And it, cons it, it means you have to consistently change. You would have to change the fuel that you use, the way you transport your stuff, the way you grow your food, uh, population control. You know, everything would have to change. Now just look at that. Now just look at that. I can't stand dog people. I, I tell you, the dumbest people walk dogs, it seems like. They can never pick up their crap. Look at that. The, the tire is absolutely covered in dog shit. Look at that. Just, 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 just look at that, people. Okay, well, I guess I have to clean this off. Jeez. Sometimes change happens naturally in nature. Sometimes it, it happens because of humans' unintended consequences. Let me show you. So, for instance, Pine, Pine Island Glacier down in Antarctica is now losing more ice than it's producing. So if this is the land here, and the glacier goes up this direction, the way you can tell if a glacier is losing water is the calving. Each Imagine somebody having a heart attack while we're doing our video. Okay, so each year the receding glacier gets further and further back. And there's a point when this starts to happen and it's irreversible. It just keeps going back and back. That's what's happening. Pine Island Glacier. It's quickly melting. Now this is a glacier that is on land. And the more it melts, the higher the sea level rise. It is predicted to keep melting faster and faster as the years go on, which is going to contribute to more sea level rise in the near, 
in the very near future. A little summer flower here in January. Definitely spring, early spring. So I've been doing a lot of history, research in history over the years, mostly ancient history. The uh, Roman, Greeks, Egypt, Neanderthal age, that sort of thing. And um, I've been doing it for years and years. And you know, humans live in a in a waveform. So this glacier is res responsible for about 20% of the sea level rise, and it is quickly losing about six miles of glacier so far in just a few years. So sea level rise is now predicted to speed up. So if you live near the coast or anything, you may want to think about selling your property quickly. A lot of you are probably wondering what's causing these droughts throughout the world. Well, let's go to one particular one, the one here in California, and look at it closely and find out what's causing these huge droughts that are happening this year. Okay, this is the coast of California right here. You can tell by the squiggly line. Anybody will know that that's California. So what's causing the drought in California is a huge high pressure system that usually builds up in the summer and doesn't let any of the storms come through. They usually go up north or sometimes they go down south, way down south. But the ones that usually come this way and hit California and the rest of the, w of the west coast are now being diverted up into Canada and parts of Washington. This high pressure system is 2,000 miles long and is four miles high in the atmosphere. One of the biggest and most entrenched high pressures ever seen in the Pacific Ocean. This is California again, you can tell by the line. Most of the high pressures, as they are here, they move towards the east. But because these are not moving, the storms, the U.S., the storms are now going up like this and then back down like this. And what's happening is that the eastern part of the U.S. is getting very wet and lots of snow and bad weather. While we're here in Drought City, uh, the drought is now pretty much something like this. It covers about a third of the U.S. in drought. You can tell. Doesn't that look like drought to you? Well, if it doesn't, what does it look like? Well, of course it looks like a drought. So it looks like all this different weather here in the U.S. and in Australia and parts of India and Africa are all being caused by the poles, both north and south, are becoming warmer, less ice, less reflection, so more heat is building up in the Arctic and Antarctic, causing these droughts on the, uh, the continents of the U.S. and Australia. Australia is having such a drought and so much heat that they had to increase the color. They had to add a new color, purple, to their heat index to show the extreme heat that's happening in Australia. The question is, will the U.S. or Australia or India be the ones that have the first killing drought where the temperature is so high that people, cattle, trees, and life in general will just die from the heat. There won't be any place to go because the drought will be so big it would take you days to get out of it and there wouldn't be enough time. We'll have to see what happens this summer. Okay, well, I guess I have to clean this off. Jeez. Okay, I think you people have all heard about this, but I wanted to make sure it gets out. Let me show you. Okay, Windows XP for people that are into PCs. The support for Windows XP will end on April 8, 2014. What does that mean? <laughs> okay, what this means is a major, major change coming. Most of the people in the world are still using Windows XP or some other uh, software. Windows wants you to move up to Windows 8. What does that mean? Well, that means 
that you have to buy a new PC because Windows 8 will not work on machines that uh, support Windows XP. They're not uh, strong enough or have enough RAM to, uh, to cause the uh, Windows XP to run correctly. So, there's another problem with this update. Not only do you have to buy new PCs and all new software, because the old software probably won't run on it, is that the uh, spy agencies of the U.S. will now have a way of getting spy hardware into all these new PCs, all this new programming and programs, so that they'll know exactly everything you're doing, every keystroke, every, every time you buy something, they have your PIN numbers and your numbers and you say, well, that's okay, it's, it's the uh, it's NSA, they're, they're okay. The problem here is that there are, million, there are millions of people working in the NSA spy uh, industrial complex, and sooner or later, one of these spies are going to take your PIN, the code that you use to buy something, such as your uh, credit card number, and they're going to abuse it and steal it from you, even though they're in the uh, NSA. It doesn't matter if they're the presidency. You've seen lots of illegal activity going on throughout all this. And so this is a good way for the uh, NSA to make sure that they can spy on every human on the planet. And Windows, Microsoft gets to sell all these new uh, Windows 8 uh, operating systems. So just be on the lookout, uh, just beware that after April 14th, if you do not upgrade your Windows program, that uh, viruses can get in, hackers can get in, uh, they can put in uh, Trojans and other uh, software that will steal your information. It's not looking good, people. April 14th, 2014. Okay, well, I guess I have to clean this off. Jeez. Okay, well, I guess I have to clean this off. Jeez.